Previously on Inside Pure Cycle, we explored how we transform recycled plastic from your home into flakes or pellets which are stored in our silos. From there, the plastic travels to the next step in our process, purification. This is where we clean and filter colors, contaminants, and odors. Let's dive into that game-changing technology with Pure Cycle's CEO, Dustin Olson. This is the plan, okay? All those videos that you've seen over the last couple of years where the modules are being built in Beaumont, Texas at Gulfspan and being shipped by water, shipped by, by truck to this facility and being put into place, this is it. And it's awe-inspiring. I mean, when you walk around this plant and you see all the pipes and all the wire and all of the precision with which this has to be built in order to fit together, it's awe-inspiring, okay? So this is where the Procter & Gamble technology is gonna come to life all the work that we have done to scale it and get it ready for this moment, it's really baked and engineered in this structure behind it. So this is a cool spot to stop because it gives you a, a sense of the scale that we're building. But what's more impressive is all of this stuff was installed in Beaumont. So all of this equipment was built inside the module at Beaumont while it was on its side and then we brought it here and lifted it up. It's a 10 by 12 by 100 foot tall structure that we lifted and put into place. All right, so this is another module and this is the one everybody's heard about because we've talked about it publicly. This is the candle filter or one of the two candle filters and you can see it's enormous. But what's exciting about this and, and why I'm so excited about this technology is there, there's nothing really unique about this. If you think about it, just about everybody's got one of these at their home if they own a pool. This is a big time pool filter. Everybody that has a pool filter has a DE pool filter and that's what we use here. Now it's bigger, it's automated to where we can change it out routinely, but that's what this is. The other interesting thing to note in this area are some of the connecting piping. I mentioned that almost everything comes built in Beaumont and then brought here. But if you see these lines, the red lines, the black lines, and some of these pieces of instrumentation, all of this was installed after it arrived because it was required to connect to the central utilities plant. So this is a good stop for us because it highlights a lot of the instrumentation required to run a facility like this. In something like this, you've really got to have a lot of temperature, pressure, and flow indications to know what's happening inside the process. So you can control it in the control room. But each of those points that you see on the video screen actually tie to something real in the field. So it's got to have a wire, it's got to have air in order to make them operate properly. And all of that detailed work is, is a necessity in order to get a, a, a good, smooth, and reliable plant operation. I like to come up here quite a bit because you can see the entire plant. This is the Scheibel column. We've talked a lot about the Scheibel column over the years. So this is where we're gonna take the solvent and we're gonna mix it with the polypropylene and that solvent's gonna attack all the impurities it out and take it on the overhead and you can see all of that right here this motor up on top it's actually going to spin the inside of the column and that spinning helps us get good contact between the solvent and the polypropylene so as we wrap up I, I like to come up here because there's there's a couple really cool views uh, for me personally so one is here because i can stand on what we've built and i can also look back at the feu that was built before me and it really gives me good perspective on where we were and where we've gotten to the other thing that i really like to do is i like to stand right here because 100 feet below me i actually remember standing right there when it was nothing but dirt and so when you immerse yourself in a project like this, sometimes you gotta wake up and pause and just remember what you're doing because you forget through all of the day-to-day -day 
noise and activities, you forget how cool it is and how special it is. When you see the original plans emerge out of the dirt and become a structure and become steel and become the piping and the process that you need to change the world, it feels really good. And it's important to really come back to that once in a while so that you can remember what you're really trying to do. Stay tuned for our next episode. Pure Cycle, one goal, a pure planet.